Okay, welcome back guys. Um, this is going to be the uh, hands-on demonstration of the different types of kidney biopsy needles. Um, this is kind of the sister video to my uh, web episode number 25 where I talk about the history of the kidney biopsy. So be sure to check that out to understand some of what I'm talking about. So first thing I want to show you guys is um, the original M Franklin modified Vim Silverman needle. So this is the two parts of the needle, it's a trocar. I'm gonna take it in apart so you can see what it looks like. So this is the outer sheath. You can see it has a hollow bore there on that side and the needle edge on this side. And this is the inner, inner uh, cannula, which is actually gonna uh, puncture the piece of the kidney. And you can see that it splits into two pieces for you to be able to retrieve the core at the end. And so how this would work is your uh, outer uh, uh, cannula would be at the level of the capsule and then you would wire this piece in and if you look at the tip once you're ready to take the piece you would punch out the core and then remove it um, and retrieve the piece of tissue. I'll actually demonstrate this on a piece of fruit in a little bit. After that, um, we have the non-spring-loaded device, which looks very similar to uh, the modern biopsy gun. So this is it um, in its retracted position. You can see there are uh, markings for centimeters, so you can get a gauge for depth. This is what the back of it looks like. Again, this is not spring-loaded, and so. Uh, you would be at the level of wherever you wanted to take the piece of the kidney and then you would punch forward and then you would have to manually push forward this outer sheath and then remove the entire piece and then pull back to look at the core. Uh, sorry about that. You can uh, hopefully see the little shelf there. Again, so this is just all manual, no spring loaded. Modern devices, this is just one example made by a company called uh, Bard. So this is a spring-loaded device. The gun is, or the trigger is actually on the end piece. So, uh, and the whole mechanism is cocked by turning like so. Okay, so I'm gonna demonstrate this a few times. So as I fire the trigger here at the end, just look at the tip of the needle. Okay, so both the inner uh, shelf and the outer cutting edge kind of go forward, not quite at the same time. The inner edge goes out first, and then the outer um, cutting sheath comes at the end. And then when I turn clockwise once, it pulls back the outer sheath, again, revealing the core on the inside. Hopefully it's a core of tissue. And then you would pull it up, put it onto a slide, and then when you're ready for your second pass, you would pull back again, and it's cocked and ready to go, and then you could fire your second pass. So let's give this a shot. Uh, well, I guess there's a couple other devices too. Uh, I can show them to you very quickly. This is another automated biopsy gun. Uh, it's very similar. It pulls back, uh, instead of twisting, you would actually cock like so and then your trigger is here on the edge. Um, this is another one uh, where you can actually ad adjust the depth or uh, adjust the length of the core that you wanna take. So now comes the hard part. I'm gonna actually try doing this and we'll see what it looks like. So here's an orange. I've already taken a few cores as you can see. This is easier to do with an apple. I, don't, I just couldn't find an apple today, I apologize. So let's do our best with the Vim Silverman first. Okay, so again, here is the needle. And what I'm gonna do is take the inner part out and I'm just going to hold this as if it were a kidney. I do need to hold it, unfortunately, otherwise it'll roll around on my desk. And let's say I'm tangential to the kidney. So again, that's a, this is a good point. You don't wanna take a, a kidney biopsy and go up and down because you'll end up getting mostly medulla, but you want to come in at an angle, and so if this would be the lower pole, you want to come in tangentially. So I'd be right at the renal capsule, let's say, I'm like so. Then, sorry, you can't see very well. 
Then I would take the inner piece and push it up into the kidney. Okay, and I'm feeling a little bit of resistance right there. And I'm gonna try to hold it steady and push forward and punch the piece of the kidney out. So it actually broke through the edge, but let's take a look now as I pull this back. I would be able to open it up and retrieve the core. All right, that wasn't a very good piece. Let me try one more time. Okay, let me go less tangential, more in, and let's see how it works. Again, as you remove, let's see if I got a bit better piece this time. Yeah, you can see the core of tissue would be inside there. Okay, so this is the original Vim Silverman. Now I gotta clean this historic artifact off. All right, if I were to do this, with the uh, manual needle, okay. Uh, again, I would have to pull the sheath back first. Enter the kidney, push, oops, I have to do this somehow without having the orange roll around. And then the, And again, you could see, I didn't grab a great piece because it's orange, but you could see as I pull back this sheath, the piece of kidney is inside. So that's a hands-on demonstration of the kidney biopsy and how we've evolved from the Franklin modified Vim Silverman needle, which is this of Kark and Murky, to the non-spring-loaded version, which is this, to now the modern version of the kidney biopsy gun.